certain gemstones come with an alluring charm of their own, and the Paraiba tourmaline is definitely one of them. This precious stone is known for its rarity and striking color, both of which make it instantly stand out from the clan of commonly known gemstones out there. The Paraiba tourmaline has a stunning neon blue color. One look at the stone and you will be left mesmerized at its radiating natural beauty. Hi everyone, I'm Sasha Kareva and on this channel I talk about gemstones. Welcome! For beginning is a fascinated story behind the rare and exquisitely beautiful Paraiba tourmaline. In the 1980s, gemstone prospector and miner hater Dimas Barboza had a mountain moving conviction that something very special was hidden in the mountains of Paraiba a state in the north of Brazil, after a sighting in 1982. He began to dig with a small crew of men with just a vision of what he was looking for. Five years after Barbosa's painstakingly slow excavation, he and his men stumbled across the first signs of a truly magnificent gemstone. Can you imagine Barbosa's thoughts and uh, feelings as he held the discovery of Pariba Turmalin in his hand? The year was 1989. Before we delve into what the Paraiba tourmaline gemstone is, let's understand the family to which it belongs. The Paraiba tourmaline belongs to the tourmaline family, a crystalline silicate mineral group of precious stones. Boron is the basic element in every tourmaline stone, which then compounds itself naturally with other elements such as iron, copper, magnesium, sodium, aluminium, lithium. As I told in my previous video, tourmaline bind guide, the color of every tourmaline stone varies depending on which element it compounds with. This also explains why tourmaline gemstones are available in a wide range of bright vibrant colors. Coming to the Paraiba tourmaline stone, this precious stone is the result of a combination between boron and copper. The high concentration of copper is responsible for the highly coveted uh, radiant blue and green hues in the Paraiba stone. Depending on the copper content in the precious stones, the resultant color of the gemstone may also be blue-green. Needless to say, the vivid unique blue of the Paraiba tourmaline instantly sets it apart from the rest of the members in not only the tourmaline family, but among a host of other gemstones as well. How rare are Brazilian Paraiba tourmalines? Put the rarity into perspective, there is only one Paraiba tourmaline mined for every 10,000 diamonds. By the way, next video will be about the diamonds, and I am sure that you will surprise to know the truth about this gem. Do make sure to subscribe to watch more videos like this in future. Owing to the rarity of these precious stones, they are super expensive. Of course, you may get any other type of tourmaline at a lesser price, but the Pariba tourmaline price is an indication of its extreme rarity. Each of these are priceless, but the most sought after by gemstone enthusiasts are the blue ones from Brazil. This is because they have a higher color saturation, further attractive hues, and uh, most importantly, and are super rare. The price of the Paraiba tourmaline is not influenced by its size, rather it depends on the origin, brightness, vividly, and indication of the stone towards the blue shade. The rarity of Paraiba tourmaline is also attributed to the difficulty in mining it. The usage of uh, dynamite can damage these delicate crystals, which is why most Paraiba deposits are sought after manually with the help of handheld tools. In a surprising twist in the Paraiba tale, in 2003, a new wave of luminous green-blue tourmalines entered the market mined by hand in the copper-rich mountains of Mozambique and Nigeria. Paraiba-like in every way with only minute chemical difference to those unearthed in Brazil. They are often found when 5 carats or more and have uh, caused an ongoing debate as to what can and cannot uh, by definition be called a Paraiba tourmaline. 
Someone says that only tourmalines from the Brazilian state of Paraíba are Paraíbas. When buying Paraíba tourmaline, it's important that documentation accompanies this gemstone. This is because tourmaline can come in blue and green shades, but if the copper and the manganese elements are not present in the gemstone, then the tourmaline cannot be classed as Paraíba. Ensure the gemstone you are purchasing comes with a comprehensive laboratory report from a reputable gem lab stating that it is Paraiba tourmaline. Please note that your gem labs has the equipment needed to test and verify Paraiba tourmaline. Uh, the specific piece of equipment used for testing Paraiba costs extremely expensive, so many laboratories are unable to conclusively verify that the gemstone being tested is Paraiba tourmaline. For some gems, does not matter how big and famous is the lab. But for Paraiba, I recommend to use only lab with long history and don't save $100-$300 for the certificate. I talked a lot about the labs in one of my videos. One more thing about about uh, certification, Paraiba is a trade name. Not many laboratories use it. They can describe the color like blue, electric blue, neon blue, bluish green. That's why important to make spectrogram, where the lab can check that the gem consists high quantity of copper. That scene proves that your gem is not just blue or green tourmaline. So let's move to numbers. Paraiba's price depends on the gem's color, saturation, clarity, and origin. The finest Brazilian Paraiba can fetch up to 1,000 US dollars per carat. On the other hand, African transcoolant cups or pale blue faceted gems are often sold around 1,000 to 1,500 dollars a carat. That's a very huge range, maximum and minimum. The geographical origin carries uh, the main pricing factor. The gems are supplied from Mozambique and have a lower cost relative to Brazilian. High quality Brazilian tourmaline can have a much smaller mass than Mozambique but have several times more the price for one carat. The purest and high quality Paraiba blue colors is 20,000, 30,000 US dollars per carat. The cost of the Paraiba from Mozambique, depending on the purity and color saturation, is in the range of 1,500 to 9,000 per carat. In the recent years, the price of Paraiba tourmaline on the market has been growing rapidly, sometimes 20-30% a year. One of the most expensive Brazilian Paraiba was sold at $1,200,000 US dollars at Sotheby in New York in June 2022. That was 10 carat stone. One month before this deal, 3.81 carats of oval Brazil Paraiba tourmaline was sold on Christie Javel's auction for 300,000 US dollars. So, how I hunt for Paraiba? First of all, I judged the color. According to my opinion, it is the most important factor and reason why so many people desire this gem. Color and not the size of the gem is the price determining factor of the precious stone. In case, if we are speaking about the most affordable Paraiba gems, clarity is not so important for the stone and uh, less affect the price. Paraiba tourmalines are type 3 gem, which means that they usually contain eye visible inclusions. The inclusions in Paraiba tourmalines are more visible in the stones with low saturation and a lighter tone. Paraiba tourmalines are rarely found in sizes over 2 carats. Of course, there are Paraiba tourmalines more than 5, 10, and even 50 carats. When count the total price, I gave the numbers before. Last important fact about beautiful Paraiba are enhancement. Most Paraiba tourmalines undergo refinement by heat treatment to achieve a better color. The natural coloring of Mozambican specimens usually has purple, pinkish green, and yellowish green hues. After the thermal treatment, the primary colors disappear and the rough material occur a neon blue coloring. Brazilian Paraiba specimens in initially have a sky blue color. Heat treatment eliminates purple tints and improves the blue color saturation. 
It is important to note that heat treatment of the Paraiba tourmaline crystals is a common practice, and due to the incredible rarity of the gemstone, heat treatment of the top specimens practically does not affect the price. Paraiba with lots of inclusions and cracks use different polymers to fill the cracks, thus improving the stone's clarity. Usually it works mostly for cabochons, but anyway, don't forget to check carefully the gemological report. Please stay away from synthetic materials with neon colors may act as simulants for Paraiba tourmaline. Not everything what sellers call Paraiba is Paraiba tourmaline. It can be apatite, cubic zirconia, a synthetic barrel and glass with similar color. I hope you enjoyed diving into Paribas tourmaline and your dream about the gem has become closer.